gone to see, but I've got two deer on me right now. Both are does, and they're eating in the corn, and I don't know if you can find them or not. There's that dark spot there, and that dark spot over there. They've been here since about, oh, since a little before, uh, about five, fifteen, I guess, is when they got here. They were laying down in the weed. I decided to get up and roam around. They've been out here eating. There's actually three. I don't know where the third one went. They pitched a little deeper. But uh, still waiting to see if I can find that buck somewhere. Had a big body deer come through before daylight, but I couldn't tell what it was. These are my, uh, this is the fourth deer I've seen this morning.
the day I don't get that acceleration from even seeing them. I'll, uh, I'll quit hunting, but man, that was awesome. This one yacht, going to freezer along with that big one Jake killed the other day, and I'm set for the winter then. I got plenty of food on him the next year. Put the skull mount on him, but I couldn't pass on that. It's been 46 years since I killed a deer with a muzzle loader. Man, that CDA rifle puts him down, put him down in his tracks. Dropped him right there. I can see him from here. It's a pretty little deer here. And I'll show you from where I was. To where, uh, to where he is. I mean, I shot him and he's down. He's still right, right where he was when I hit him. So he's there. Right here, right on top of me. And if you turn, right there's my blind. And he came from the east today, which was weird following the wind because a lot of my tracking stuff was showing the wind was from the east. I think I just heard Mike Tolly shoot. Mike's across the way at a different farm over here. Thank you, Lord, for the deer and this day. and It's just, just an awesome thing to be out here in, in his outdoors. Your harvest record is complete. Temporary transportation tags are no longer required for this harvest. And it gives me my confirmation number. That'll also email me to, uh, so when I get over here, I will, uh, I'll have a number. If the game warden wants to look at him, check him. Uh, I have my press. I have my number, my harvest number, and that's that quick and simple to check in online. This is a very special buck to me. I uh, I watched this buck and a little six-point buck this morning. This one's an eight, and they roamed around for quite a while. The reason it's so special. This is the first. Sorry, I'm still. My hands are still shaking. It's been about 40 minutes. My hands shaking. Um, special buck to me because. 46 years ago, muzzleloader season, I shot my first muzzleloader buck. He was a little four-point buck, and that was the first one I'd ever shot. So 46 years ago, well, this morning I watched this guy and a uh, and a little six-point for probably 30 minutes. I mean, just right after daybreak, and I watched them for a long time, and they disappeared. They'd go in the woods chasing does. And then they turned around, and I came back out with two does out here in front of me. You probably see that on the video earlier. And... Uh, I looked and I said, no, you know, that's not really the deer I want. I'd like to have a bigger buck, but it's been 46 years. Well, I had the camera on him and I had to reach across my body and get my range finder. I just wanted to see how far they were and I ranged him and lo and behold, he ranged 46 yards. So 46 years, 46 yards, and you'll probably hear me on the video. I said, I've made my decision. So I decided to take this buck. I shot him with my CVA Optima. My V2 with the thumb hold. I gotta say, Brandon Dowdy, Rick Taylor, you guys were all about it. That, that I may have to hunt with this during rifle season. I like this gun. And I wish everybody luck throughout rifle season, the the remainder of muzzle loader season, muzzle loader season. You can tell I'm still shook up. Um, and we'll be looking for your uh, your pictures and your videos on Southern Woods and Waters. By the way, go Vols.